what's up guys this is mutant trader and all i'm doing here is taking live trains analyzing the train signals both on currencies and stock um secondly i'm using my phone to do my trains which i've been doing really for the last five years and i want to help you take quality trends with me and learn more about the trading itself so that you can trade wild through forex stock and crypto trading so today we are doing a new zealand japanese yen analysis as you can see and literally we are going to see if we have a probable trend today or in the near future so for the last couple of days um japanese Yen has been losing its clowns and eating uh, all times lows. So, but as we can see, it has already got to its resistance level. Um, that is level level is seven point one six. That is when it hit the highest point on this pair. It formed a double tops, and then it started going down and as it went down currently it is trending within level 83.25 and we are looking or expecting that the pair will break this level so that we can take our short swing trend so um on your phone and this will be the level which generally i use the horizontal lines to mark my resistance level that I expect to be broken so that I can take a trade. So as we can see, our resistance point will be a 3.24. And once it breaks that level, then we'll be ready to take the short. So the condition for this one first will be to see the stochastic oscillator just get to of a bot position that is above 80 before we take that trend and already our rsi is already trending within the range of 46 and bearish thing so what you have to note here is that between uh uh, uh on that first of march and 28th of april we end an rsi divergence let me show you about this rsi divergence and how it happened um this was the rsi divergence so the price action was making the high highs but the strength was forming a high lows so on the price chart and this is where the market was forming the high highs between this point and that point and that was forming the rsi divergence so uh on the course of the time we were monitoring the fundamentals were happening and i can still remember on on the 28th uh a japanese bank uh, Kuroda spoken literally is saying that they won't hesitate to listen the monetary policy and this the market and was not happy about it and then it started reversing up. But the following day, as we could see, the market again uh, covered the previous one and again it resumed its bearish momentum. So, guys, um, what is happening on a higher time frame like one week chart? Let's see on the one week chart what was happening is that the price action it formed a pin bar a pin bar on the 17th and it was followed by a bearish candle a strong bearish candle was on april 24th and as we can see that one is a pure indication that this uh, price movement is literally going to the downside okay uh the same time our relative strength index rsi 14 was oversold at level 71.66 and the stochastic oscillator uh, turned to be a bearish position moving away from the oversold regions and going down so this one is a clear indication that literally we are 
we're gonna take our short position when the price is closes at the 3.24 levels even if we uh We'll zoom out further we can see on the monthly chart the prices from the a, a pin bar last month and the prices were at our all times high on the pair and we can see a corrective move so generally this is a good um swing trade and we're gonna target our take profit to this level uh 74 and this one gonna be a good train once the market start collapsing down one so uh, uh if you have any question in trading question just hit on the comment box and i'm gonna help you to train using your if using your hand brain phones or your computer desktop or laptop or tablet this is the same system so um uh, if you're wondering how is my setup um uh, on the main chart on the candlestick chart i have the simple moving average i have set it to 50. uh on the oscillators i'm just using the relative strength index of 14 and stochastic oscillator of 533 so guys this is not yet ripe but in a few days or few weeks we are gonna take our next short position so stick with me and happy trading mutant logging off thank you for watching